Okay, <laughs> here we go. I'm going to just do, kind of show you guys what I do. I do a little, um, make a few little odds and ends, and I use some uh, silicone, silicone, no, resin and paints and what have you. Um, I paint uh, background, and then I use my molds and make, um, you know, pieces and then attach them and pour them, pour resin over the top. Um, and <clears throat> I just was going to do, <clears throat> that's kind of cute. Anyway, I was just going to do one real quick, kind of show the process of uh, how this works. I have a, a couple of blank ones and then I've got completely white ones, but uh, this is one um, that needs another coat of resin on it, but it's got little bumblebee in it and some little parts and kind of different. It's got, I spilled paint on it, had to sand it. <clears throat> so it has, uh, needs another coat of silicone on it too. So, but um, it's just kind of fun to make these. They're a little different. Um, I really, really enjoy the mermaids. I like the mermaids a lot. So I do them a lot, but in the little fairies. But this is the end product, product, and what I'm going to do is show you kind of real quick um, the steps I go through to um, to make them. If you're interested, keep watching. If you're not, well, I'm so shabby. All right, here we go. So I'm going to get these out of the way, and I'm going to put on a pair of gloves. They're right here, and I've got. I probably will do the resin last, maybe. I don't know. Um, but I am going to do that as well. So, these, this is already was painted and resined in, a, a, and I did a previous video on that one. Same with this one was, um, you can see where it's the drippy because I did a really crappy job. A lot of times I will sand these if I forget to put um, tape on the bottom. Anyway, so I was trying to decide. Here's another one that I did on a, a another. So I was trying to decide if I had good enough pieces already made uh, to go on here, like my Little Mermaid or what have you. Which she's she's okay. She's a little bent, but which she actually probably would be okay on that. So I think I will go ahead and put her on this one. Um, she'll stand out enough. Uh, you know, to be seen. You just have to figure out the white, di white direction. Now, I think this one is the wrong color for this piece. I really don't like it on here. So, what I was thinking was I would put her on this one and hide this ugly corner. I might even do it with her little feet hanging off a little bit. And then, um, I have another mold that is a frame. And might do another one, you know, put over here, or it could have some, you know, it could cut, paint some lettering or something, or once upon a time or something, or, you know, make it kind of interesting. But I like how she goes better on this background than she does on this one, even though, I just think this one's too red. But anyway, that's kind of what I'm going to do, is so I'm going to attach these to here, um, and pour resin over the top we'll do them after but as usual my paints are uh, for the pores themselves are <sighs> diluted with the XIM latex extender which is like water just tell you um, so I don't add water my paints are paint and latex extender um, I probably won't do any uh, silicone in these paints that I'm going to mix up here real quick because um, I probably won't on these. My original ones I didn't do it and it just I hate for the resin not to stick. So so now that I've decided I'm going to put on these, these will be um, the next process after. I'm going to get my XIM out of the way and I'm going to set these back over here. And so as far as the resin molds are concerned, they're just a silicone mold. These are, um, you know, watch pieces and faces. You can get anything. And they're actually probably for fondant, you know, for uh, or candy making. 
Um, so leaves, um, butterflies. I love the wings. I use the wings a lot. Um, I really love the wings, so I probably will leave those out and pour some of them. Um, as far as the mermaid, I love my little mermaid, obviously. She's well used. And I have a little sea turtle and an uh, octopus and then some various shells and what have you for the under the sea type of a thing. And I'm, I will use those when we do this. Um, I'm probably going to... These are soap molds, by the way. Oh, that's all they are, silicone soap molds. And I use them uh, to pour and to, uh, to you know, for my... Uh, so, uh, resin pieces that I put on top of my um, little squares, what have you. So these are mostly fairies, which I like fairies. So they're mostly fairies. I was trying to find one. This one is she's on a little swing. And I'm going to do a bigger piece. So I might do that. Uh, you know, so let's just do a couple. So I'll do that one and uh, really not overly concerned. I'm never overly concerned with anyone, anything, so actually I'm going to do those two. Um, I guess I'll do that one too. Nah, I'll do, I don't know. Anyway, I'll do a couple of them because it really doesn't matter if I don't use them today. I use them another time. So I'm going to put these back up. But like I was talking about chocolate molds. This is a chocolate mold, um, you know, with leaves and what have you. Uh, they're once they're, you know, it cures, they just they just pull right out of there. And I've used this one a time or two. This is handy. Okay, now, first things first. I'm going to pour on these two uh, tiles. And then I'm going to set them off to the side or leave them here. And then I'm going to mix up and try to map, use some of the colors in my resin so I can pour these. And then what we'll do is I'll let them cure, and tomorrow I'll come back and we'll continue the process. But right now, I'm going to pour on these a little bit of paint, not a whole lot. And I'm going to use these little cups to do it. I love these little cups. They're really kind of cool. All right, so I'm going to get them out of the way. And I'm going to... These need to sit on something so they're not straight flat on here. Well, I guess it's it's not that big of a deal. So, how about we lift them up with on sticks, popsicle sticks, or not pop, popsicle sticks, but tongue compressors. That'll get them up just just a hair so they won't stick. That's fine. All right. So first things first. I'm going to. I was going to blow it in again, but I'm not. Okay, I'm going to mix up some um, of the gloss medium with some of my X, the uh, IXM or XIM extender to give something to work with. I like it that way, kind of loose. That way when I put the paint on it, it spreads better. So I'm just going to pour a little bit of this in here to keep, to have so I don't have this whole big old thing up on top here. So, because it's pretty much like water. So what I think we're going to do is I'm going to take one of these little cups and I'm going to put some latex. I mean, uh, it's a uh, sure flow or true flow. Sorry, sorry. True flow acrylic gloss medium. I'm just going to put a little bit in here. I'll do two of them. We'll just kind of keep it separate. Okay. And then I have these great pipettes. I'm going to put that in there. One in there. This one actually has more. So, I wish I had smaller sticks, but I don't. So, I'm going to just mix it in here. All it is is just thinning it down some. That's all. So that's just, that's really not crazy thin, but let me move these out of the way as well. So this video is going to be like made over a day or so, so 
Um, all right. And actually, I think I am going to lift these up higher just because I like them that way. We're all going to use these cups. These little cups. So I think one, two. I'm going to go ahead and just stick four underneath this one, get it off the thing. And I'm going to stick four underneath this one. I get these little cups off Amazon too. They're just, they're medicine cups. And um, they're not very expensive. And of course, I reuse them quite a bit as well. So, and these tiles, I ran out of stuff to pour on. So, last night or yesterday afternoon, I ran to Lowe's real quick. These big tiles were 48 cents a piece. I got some su smaller subway tiles that were like 22 cents. So, really pretty economical as far as that goes. My thing is not level. Let me see if that goes a little better. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and just pour this on here, spread it around. And then we'll kind of figure out what colors we want as we go. And I'm just going to put this in the middle and let it spread spread around. So now this is, is gloss medium and extender. So there's nothing in there. There's no silicone, no nothing. Nothing, nothing. All right, so let's see. So, but I'm... I'm trying to decide if I want to do it as a dirty pour or just like a, a puddle pour and just put, let's just do it a puddle pour. All right. So from thinking about doing, I'm not even sure. So let's go ahead and I'm going to take this pretty, oh no, let's go. If we're going to do magical, we probably should do magical. I love these Lumiere paints. They are beautiful phenomenal and this is a brand new one I'm gonna open it they're not super cheap but they they are so pretty so 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 pretty all right I'm gonna put it in here and just mix it up in here so we'll do them let's go ahead oh why am I doing that today I keep doing this I keep pouring my stuff out Today. I'm having a heck of a time. That's all right, though. I'm going to scoop some of it off. Save it. Put it back in there. But um, Here I am, as usual, a train wreck. So I think why I like them in the squirty tubes better. Well, so we're going to use a lot of this paint on here, apparently, since I made a bunch. So that's all right. You, know, you never know. All right, so I'm going to mix that. And since I've already got a start on here of it, let's just do it that way. All right, so. Kind of makes me sad. Ah, stuff always makes me sad, doesn't it? Mm. I'm going to kind of I'm going to just pull this stuff off of here and uh, let this spread around or I'm going to spread it around maybe let's spread it I know you guys know I'm going to always make some kind of a crazy error some way shape or form that's just the story of my life alright let's see I'm going to just spread this one over here it's going to have some green in it guess what it's going to have some green in it. I really don't care. You never know. And it may turn out pretty anyway. So, oh, that's actually kind of cool. Well, let's just get this going in here. Right in, actually. Uh, we may leave it that way. It's kind of neat. Kind of pretty. In one color. So, it might, might be something to put a... For a mermaid. I don't know. We may, we may, I don't think I'm going to put any other paint on this piece. Kind of pretty. I'm just going to let it sit because it's going to be, it's just going to be kind of white tinted. Kind of. Pretty pretty. Under the sea. So see, a happy accident. Well, maybe not, but anyway. So I'm going to just kind of let this sit like it's, let's let it be ocean. We'll make uh, underwater stuff for this one. So, there you go. And I'll use this green to make my, to tint my, um, some of my pieces for underneath there. So, maybe that's it. 
it's okay. Now this one over here, I'm going to do this as a puddle pour. Put another pair of glasses on. Glasses, another pair of gloves on. Oh, I think I need a break. All right, so I'm actually going to get this one out of the way. Where can I sit it? I'm going to go sit it over there on my desk so she can, it can just sit there in peace and, uh, right, I think so, let me see. It's on my desk, out of the way. All right, perfect, beautiful. All right, so now, let's continue. Let's continue with this one. I'm gonna go ahead and move it over here. I probably can see it better anyway. All right, so now that I don't have, look, green already. Heaven forbid. Okay, I'm gonna kind of spin that over. See, I always tell you guys, I don't know what I'm doing. So, I just kind of, I'm not a planner. I'm a semi-planner. I plan some stuff and then it's, it goes to whatever after that. So, all right, now, going to, what color am I gonna put with this pretty color? I think I'm going to put, I think I'm gonna put a little bit of this, what would be pretty, I guess this purple would be pretty with it. This is purple pansy. And I'm just going to take the top off, and I'm going to put it in here a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I don't need a whole lot. And that is really thick. So we're going to do purple pansy. I've got this pretty color here. I don't know how I'm, what I'm going to put with it, though. Maybe we should do just another turquoise with it. Let's do some turquoise with it. And not do a whole bunch of colors. So let's do a little bit of turquoise, and that's, you know, that's way too much, but it's all right. And then I'll do one with this lovely vanilla ice cream. How about that? Ooh, or should I use a, a sparkly white one? This one's called Dust. Let's use the sparkly one. And this is a Kid Made Modern. Uh, from Target. Not super expensive. I don't buy anything super expensive. Because I make a mess. Obviously. You saw with the Lumiere, which is not cheap. So that's okay. But I love the Lumiere and all the colors it comes in. I mean, that is just amazing. That's like dragonfly wings. Love it. Alright, I'm going to use some Mike Stender in here. Keep it kind of. Um, there's probably plenty. This one needs a little bit in. All right, so let's see what we get. Let's stir this one up. I love how it's so early, but they don't stir in very well. The um, the kid made modern have a little more trouble um, incorporating the um, extender. And I don't know if it's just because it's a um, metallic and that's the problem. I don't know. It, it just behaves differently than some of the other paints that I use. And now I got lots of this made up, but I think I have a bottle that I can put it in. Oh, look. I bet that's the same one. It is. But it has silicone in it. That's why we're not using it. Not using any silicone in these. Okay. So this is probably okay. We clean that off because you know what'll happen. I'll do it. And it'll dump over. So let's do this. And we're gonna do this like a puddle pour. So we'll pour it in. I'll pour just puddles on there, and then we'll tilt it. See how we get. And I may do like three different puddle sections and turn it around. I don't know why I'm having trouble today getting my paints to mix in. just one of those things that happens. All right, so that one actually is probably okay. I'm going to clean that off. Maybe. All right, yeah, I think that's mixed up pretty good. And let's do this other color here. I'm just looking for one that's not messed up. Okay. And here's our turquoise. So, 
See that one? I don't know what the deal is. This one just stirred right up. The purple one had some trouble. And they're the same brand. So, all right. So here's the fun part. So, since we know I don't have a plan, I think, and we know this is going to just be a puddle, let's put a, let's put, I'm going to put three puddles. So let's go here, up here, and I'm going to make this a little alternation. So let's, here's my third one. Put this in here. This is our sparkly one. Dust is the color of this one. Oh, and it's going to do something because it's weird. I mean, uh, because it's a metallic, which acts strange anyway. They have a different uh, density or opacity or whatever you want to say. Now, look, I already forgot this one. So I'm going to use, I'm just going to use the thingy and drop it in there. We'll just keep spreading them out. Whoopsie. We'll just keep spreading them out. Just keep adding colors. And then make Yes, this is so exciting, I know. Almost. Yeah. It's okay. All right. This is another couple of these. I'm probably going to use up the rest of this and then go on to the neck and just keep alternating the other colors. I don't like how this one behaves. <laughs> it doesn't behave itself. I don't like it. But, oops, and then I dripped it somewhere else anyway, which is fine. So. And it's starting to run on that corner over there. So what I think I'm going to do here real quick is I'm going to put, I'm going to raise this side up here. So let's put another thing under here. And let's get it going. Put another thing. Really? Because I don't want it to all run off that way. So I'm going to put this under here and raise that corner up just a little bit. See if we can get a little more. It's not quite balanced, but okay. Well, let's add it. Uh, let's see. Oh, <laughs> all right. I may have to just drip a few of them because, as you know, I like that. Not exactly. It's not an exact. Okay, let's get some more purple in here. I really didn't mean to put it in there, but that's okay. I'm going to put it in all these spots. Alright, now I'm going to tilt. I'm just going to kind of put some more of this in here and then I'm going to tilt it. Let's see what we got. And the colors may be too dark for, um, you know, one of these fun, one of these little. Alright, let's get it going here. Because I want it on the whole. Alright, 
so there's one tile. And what we'll do is we're going to let it dry. And then uh, I'm going to make some pieces of the ones in the, uh, of some of the silicone pieces. And we will, um, I kind of like the colors on that one. I think I need to do another one with some more of the gold on, I mean the gold, sheesh, this color, which I'm going to make my uh, mermaids out of. So, all right, well, that's it for right now. This is kind of the process that I use. Put some paint on, tip it around. Um, then uh, I will go through and we'll make some silicone. We'll make some resin uh, pieces using the silicone molds. And uh, we'll see how it does. And I'll show you the next step. I guess that's basically what I'm doing is just going to show you the next step after this. So, all right. We'll be back when it's dry.